Welcome to The Right Reasons. It's a big week. I'm Juliette Littman. Right Reasons special episode. Tell them what we're doing. Uh, you're David Jacoby, and we will be talking about <laughs> the new cast of The Challenge. We don't even know when this is going to air. No. Like this very well might not air until like next April. I have some I have some uh, theories about it though. Really? Yeah, but let's do a little housekeeping first. So of course. We're gonna do a, a cast breakdown. So if mm -hmm. you're listening to this, a thank you. You should be. It's great. B we have our own dedicated iTunes feed now. So yep. search for that and subscribe. Subscribe to the right reasons. You can you can just subscribe to that one only and subscribe to the Grantland Pop Culture feed to get all of your favorite Grantland podcasts. Yeah, I only really care about the right reasons though, to be honest. Yeah, it's all about us today. Yeah, man. Yeah. And uh, C, if you're listening, stop and watch because we have some cool slides going yeah, on. Yeah, we got videos. graphics. This is gonna be an audio visual presentation. However, but if you're jogging or if you're in your car, it's still gonna be fun. That's true. It's I'm not trying to fun. scare anyone here. And while we're teasing the show, we also have, we're going on a trip. We're getting in the plane and we're going on a salsa flight. Salsa flight. Salsa flight. I'm so excited. Julia salsa flight. Juliet was so excited. She's got so many different types of salsas. <laughs> she was basically like, how many, like, what's the limit? Like, how many, how many, what's the Why limit here? Why will my corporate credit card yes, be canceled? Ex exactly. It's going to be. They're like, you're just feeding yourself with this. Uh, I'll give some more deep on the salsa flight when we get to it. I'm yeah. super excited And we're going to, we're going to do news, but. First and foremost, the challenge. most importantly, the challenge. Now, I want to be very open and um, journalistically sound, as we always are, because we're journalists here at The Right Reasons. Absolutely. It's very important. Don't get suspended. The, you can't, we got our information from Vevmo, right? It's supposed to be Vevmo, not Venmo, the money transfer no, service. No, it's Vevmo, V-V-M-O. -V and it's, they know everything about the challenge. Also completely predates Venmo, and I kind of resent Venmo for like taking the shine of Vevmo. Yes. Yeah, like if you think that you listen to this show and, and you're like me and you think that you love the challenge, and you're like, wow, like I love the challenge more than anyone else on the planet. Like look yourself right in the mirror and know that you're wrong. <laughs> Because the people that post on this site are so wonderful. They know so much. Yeah, they... And, like, they really do... Like, you know, like, NBA nerds? Yeah. They're, they're, like, challenge nerds in the most glorious fashion. They, like, the way that I, like, keep track of, like... Aaron Gordon's Twitter is mm -hmm. how they like keep track of like Johnny Bannon's Twitter. Like no activity yes. since this date returned on this date. They're scientific with it. Yeah. I mean, they're, like we're gonna go through the cast, but the way that they got them, and not only do they say like, hey, these are the people that are in it, they show their their work. Right. They're like, oh, they're, they're, the Twitter activity slowed down. I also got a personal hint. They're good students. And it was hinted at. It was hinted at by like Emily Fitzgerald. It's like, oh wow, like they like they really show their work. It, Whenever they, they say like personal information, or I always want to know what that is. It means like, Johnny Bananas. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it means. That's what I think it means. He's seeding yes, out. Yes, Johnny curls Bananas. And basically, truth. Yeah, basically, it was like, oh, I got. I, we learned this from personal information. So I texted Johnny Bananas. Um, so, Vavmo posits that the next season is the challenge Battle of the X's 2. Now, they've been wrong about formats before. Yes. But this one seems pretty straight and straight. It seems pretty, pretty smart on. And also, Battle of the X's 1 was excellent. Also, there's two couples from Are You the One, so that would make sense with Battle of the Exes. Yeah, but we're gonna have to get to that con controversy, okay? Yeah. It's a big controversy, the Are You and the One inclusion. I'm for it, but let's get to the cast. Yeah, let's go. Are you prepared? Uh, I'm pretty excited. So I was, um, you know, it's Friday, I'm yeah. tired. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, podcast. Then I started reading your column to prepare, and I got so amped up. It's like it, like you have said in the past, our friends are back. Our it's friends like, are back. It's not, you know, like when we do the Bachelor cast breakdowns, it, it's like a lot of information to take in all at once. A lot of new once. faces. Right, but this is sort of like, re it's like a reunion. It's like, yes. it's like a college reunion with people yes. you don't know. It's amazing. I'm let's so excited about it. this. Let's get, let's get to the first, the first couple here. Okay, I'm so excited. All right. All right yes. Now this, there's a few of these, and I want to put this out there. Dustin Zito and Jessica McCain. First of all, I didn't know her last name was McCain, but it makes no total idea. sense. It makes total sense. <laughs> is she related to John? But there's, like, a, there's a few of these couples. Who is Dustin's ex, Juliet? Heather. Thank you. Okay. Do you, you know that I was obsessed with them, right? Yes. I mean, uh, for anyone listening to this podcast, is Juliet's obsession with Dustin and Heather is only rivaled by, like, uh, uh, an, uh, uh, a European housewife's obsession with the king and queen. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. like you you covered them like the Royals. I took I took their break. Not the Kansas City Royals. No, 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 no. Kate yes. will. Yes. I took their break up really hard. Um, you know, like when people break up, you kind of like need to like cut ties to really be able to move on. Mm. Well, I unfollowed both of them. I was like so upset. <laughs> oh my god! That I unfollowed them both. I was like, well, if you're not together, I have no use for either of you. Yeah. So you know, I'm not interested in them solo. But this did remind me to check in on Heather. 
And um, I got some interesting information, which is, remember Mike Ross, Leroy's, like, homeboy? Of course. He's Mike getting, Mike. His name is Mike Mike. He's, he's getting married this weekend. What? Yeah. Where? Uh, I don't know, but she was like, I'm going to miss my real world family, Leroy, Nani, and Adam Royer. Those are the three that are going to the wedding. I guarantee he wears cowboy boots. Or no, Mike Mike's different. Mike, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike yeah. is from Baltimore. Yeah, Maryland, yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah. He was, like, really sweet. I love Mike Mike. The Mike Mike and Leroy combination was just so beautiful. Beautiful, especially when they were on uh, Rivals together. Yeah, yeah, yeah Adam yeah. Royer got kicked off, so they brought in Mike, and he was like his was best so friend. Happy. Yeah, it's like, oh, everyone else has their worst enemy. I have my best friend. Here. Yeah, it was so cute. It was just so cute, and also he really overperformed. So anyway, shout out to him, Mazel Tov. Yeah. Have a great wedding. I freaking love weddings. I wish, I wish you nothing but the best, Me Mike. Too. Mike. So back to Dustin and Jessica. They're not really exes. They had a showman. So let's call it what so it is. So here's what this screams. This screams Heather. Said no. Yeah, Heather's not. So I. So then you have to start thinking like, all right, like, so why did Heather say no? Uh, I think she, she's totally done with Dustin. I think she. Really. Yeah, she has a very interesting Twitter. Um, very like a lot of emotions running high. A lot really? of like a lot of like inspirational quotes or kind mm. of like deep thoughts. Like, mm. like there was one about like so many popular books these days are about like dystopia or like di or like dictators is it because we're scared of them or because we can't look away like something like that <laughs> that's amazing <laughs> that's just seriously thing she was recently tweeting about 100 percent right a lot of dystopic <laughs> fiction going on right now you know she's probably looking forward to the next hunger games movie but yeah. who's not they're really good <laughs> yeah, movies the maze, all dystopic they're really good um so yeah i so i think that maybe she's like she takes her Self and her personal Too development serious. very seriously, and she doesn't want the show or Dustin in her life. But she did have a screenshot, like you know, you can sign up for those services where you're reminded of your tweet from like four years ago. It said. Oh yeah. So she had one from her uh, when she what left to be on the real world, and it was like, I'm reminded today of why I always take make bold and courageous choices, and how I have the confidence to be the individual that I am. Like all this stuff. Like, oh my god. Isn't it cool if you think that? Like honestly, like power to you. But just don't tweet about it. it look, Keep it inside. Talk to your friends about it's it. It's really. I'm. A, are you ready for a hot take? Yes. It's really hard to take a stance against like inspirational quotes. No, it's not hard. Positivity in general, or just like people saying good morning or good day, but I'm gonna do it. I completely agree. I don't agree. care. Not you know on Twitter. I, mean? I, don't want, I don't want positive anything. You know what I don't like? I also don't like positive rap. You know, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just like, just no. I want negative everything. I want it dark, I want it to be violent, and I want it to get weird, and I want your social media presence to be that too. There's nothing worse on Instagram than like an all text, like a mo motivational quote. Like, nah, unfollow. The, yeah, that Peace. is not what this medium is for. Deuces. <laughs> Later. But um, like, let's Dustin be honest about this. Jessica. Dustin, this, this is, Dustin is an excellent Athlete. challenger. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's a good challenger. Remember that argument with Frank's that he got in? Oh, yeah. He's, he's got this history of, like, living in some weird gay porn house. Frat pad is what it's called. The you, frat pad. You know its name. I know. I'm just, try, just trying to, you know, don't know where the line is here, okay? And uh, he said, do you want to get street? Do you want to get street? B word to Frank. We can yeah. use a B word here. I don't know. It's a safe space. Okay. So, and Jessica is just, I just, She's I'm not even weight. talking about She's her. She's dead weight. I'm Where is Heather? I don't know. They should, the sucks. producers didn't do a good enough job to get Heather. Let's look at the next one. I don't even want to talk they about it. They must like people that will do a showmance, though, because that's good TV. So. All right. Jay and Jenna from uh, Explosion. Ex Explosion. The first thing that I thought when I saw this is, where are Brian and Jenny? Okay, funny. You should ask. Recently was curious about Jenny, what she was up to. Mm. And and if you don't know, this is Real as Colby Cheese Jenny from Real World Explosion yeah. and her crazy boyfriend, Brian. <laughs> of the Thought Records. The Thought Record guy. Do you remember how that season ended? Do you remember the last episode when Brian got slammered and like lost yeah. his mind? And then we found out in the reunion they were back together. So they were living together in L.A. They were doing their thing. I think they live in Hollywood. Honestly, it looks like not that far from where I live. Okay. <laughs> it's like, oh, I think I drive past there all the time. Um, <laughs> And they decided to and move. By drive fast, you mean park outside with two meals and wait? <laughs> wait for them. Yeah. I hold up a stereo like John Cusack <laughs> and say anything. Uh, they moved back to Kansas City. They packed up. Mm. They just decided it was too expensive here. And they're from Kansas City. They had moved out here together. And the, they just closed the L.A. chapter. And she had a nephew she wanted to be close to. Oh. I her. think they were kind of opting out of public life. So you want to know what? That's probably the responsible choice. I don't know if Brian can really take any more scrutiny. It didn't seem like he thrived on the real I world. I don't think he matured or grew from the experience. I think Brian's older than me, which is just so weird to me. 
Like, I, I kind of can't get over it. I don't, I don't even know what to make of that. It's just so weird. So the thing is also, um, as we get further and further away from Explosion, Jenny and Robin, like the icon of Robin, are fusing into they are. one yeah, person. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm like, oh, Robin's it's, moved. If you're Robin. Are you happy or pissed? I think you're pissed. Like, imagine if Grantland hired, like, a 24-year-old. Like, oh, this guy's, like, really good. Like, he's going to, like, write about reality shows once in a while. And, like, you know, like... Produce videos. And when you're not around, he's going to do the pod with Juliet. You know, I'd just be like, no, man. Get out of <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, it's, like, kind of like a replacement Robin. If, it is if, a replacement Robin. I know. It's too bad. If Robin didn't have a kid, would she still be on these shows? Just throw that out there. I cannot... Think about Robin without thinking about the revelation that I know. Johnny Bananas it, told me on a podcast once upon a time. We can't repeat it. You bleeped it out on that podcast, you know. <laughs> People are, whatever. Hats off to Robin. Shout you know what I mean? Tip, you, tip of the cap to Robin. She also, she had some great showmances too. Her and Mark Long, that was a dramatic one. You didn't get my tip of the cap to Robin reference? Yeah, I get it, man. <laughs> Come on, that was better I than you didn't give it any credit. Respect, you I get sell it. sell your co-host here. <laughs> Respect to Robin. Respect to Robin. <laughs> Respect to Robin. <laughs> Um, so let's talk about these two human beings oh, who, yeah, that we haven't. Not. Yeah, Jay and Jenna. So I'm concerned about them because Jenna was a zero on the show. She, An absolute zero. Yeah. She, she, she turned into that girl that all the other, all of her friend girls are like, you need to tell them this, and you need to tell them that. And you need to be like this, and you need to be like that. And she's like, just kind of sitting there like, this is not my nature. I'm just yeah. kind of like soft. And Jay, like, if you remember Jay was a professional screaming in microphones at nightclub guy. Yeah. Like, he comes to, like, his, like, career goals was to, be, like, go to the nightclub every night and be like, everybody, put your hands up. He's not interested in Yeah, turn in it up. He's not interested in dating or hooking up. He's only interested phone in numbers. getting phone numbers. It's only phone numbers. <laughs> so I feel like he's not really going to thrive here because there's no phones. There's and no, not, strangers. no strangers. No yeah, strangers. I hope he shows up the first day and he's like, hey, Johnny Bananas, uh, can you just put your number in my phone real quick? <laughs> Like, this is going to go around. Hey, Leroy, America's favorite trash man. Like, 702 area code, right? Las Vegas? Yeah. yeah. He's just going to be gathering <laughs> the information. And All then the doing time. nothing about that. All night. the time. So I just feel like this is not really the environment for them. Also, to be honest, neither screams incredible athlete to me. I think they're gone early because it's rookies, yeah. go, rookies go fast. And they're contributing nothing. I th they're going to make it longer. They're going to, even some of the are you the ones, like I know they're going to get resented against the are you the one couples. Like they're, they're going to stick around longer I just than want to two. float a theory. I don't know anything about this season, like about like format. I only know what Venmo told us. What if the are the, the one people come in differently at a different time? Like I feel like maybe the, it'll be like a curveball. They'll be thrown at them or uh, something. I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. Let's move on. Okay, and who also, is Also, he's it? supposedly like a real Gotti, like John Gotti Gotti. But he is? Yeah. Oh, my God. Johnny the and Nani. power couple. First of all, the alliteration itself, Johnny and Nani. Except that he's so hard bananas. And Johnny Riley, we're going to get to him on this show, he's bananas. It's Nani and bananas. Johnny and Nani is going to stick, Johnny okay? And Nani, Johnny okay. and Nani is going to stick. I mean, just look at those two. Look at that picture, Juliet. Do you, that, that, That's a power couple. Did that, she win last time? They are oh, no, strategizing. Laurel. Yeah, they are. You know what I mean? Like, look at Johnny so deep in thought. This is what's happening in this picture. She's put him in an uncomfortable position mm -hmm. where he has to choose Both, between... Yeah, one person or another person. And he's really thinking it over, and he's mm -hmm. going to go with the start, smart strategic decision because he's Johnny Bananas, and that's what he does. At so, what point do you think LeBron's headband is going to get to, like, that level? You know, see how it's hat? almost, like, vertical? <laughs> yeah. It's like, we're headed that direction. Johnny's got a full head of hair, which we can attest to because we met him in July. Yeah. I met him in July, and I didn't leave his He arrived at this party, and he didn't leave my side. I didn't leave his side. <laughs> I don't know if this is how it worked. <laughs> I didn't I, leave his side. Sorry. But he was, uh, I just want to salute to Johnny Bananas. He was, he was an excellent, I'm going to raise my coffee. Excellent, excellent addition to a Grantland gathering that we had once upon a time. And it was just an amazing experience. And he was, you even said that he spilled a little beans. A little, yeah, bit, was, of, little bit of, of beans on the floor. He was about to leave for the next season. He didn't tell us where. Mm -hmm. Or he may have, and I don't remember. One of, one of those two. You were drunk. <laughs> I was drunk. <laughs> okay. Um, and uh, he said, yeah, I think it's going to, I'm going to be paired. I think a sto he said, I think a storyline, they're going to try to turn it into like me and Nani had some kind of history. And... He's had a girlfriend, Hannah Teeter. Yeah, shout out to Hannah Teeter, an amazing athlete. Yeah, Get her on the Olymp show. an Olympian. Yeah, an Olympian. I think she's won medals. Yeah, I think so too. They live like in Tahoe together. Although he seems to be all over the place per his Instagram. All and over he, the place. Anyway, he was worried about it because he's like, they're going to try to turn it into a me and Nani thing. And, you know, I have this girlfriend. So, you know, that. All right, look, the people at Vebmo 
or this is actually another message board where, that I did some research into their history because I don't remember them hooking up. And I they, think it was some sort of like off-camera hookup they're going to try to turn into a thing. That's they probably got drunk and made out like twice. Probably. Something like yeah. that. But they're going to win. Yeah, absolutely. It's like Johnny's like the is like the champ. Like, I, I, can anyone bring is. him down? Like, who can bring him down? He'll go down eventually. Like, remember, I used to think that Roy Jones Jr. would never lose a boxing match for the rest of his life. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't, under, I don't understand boxing references, but that's okay. cool. <laughs> he'll, he'll go down eventually. But I just, I love this too. I love these two, and because they're not really exes, they won't have that tension. There's to no work baggage, through. really. Yeah, so they're just gonna team up. Yeah, I like it. Power couple. It's amazing that she's become a powerhouse. Never would have guessed it based on her original Las Vegas season. No. She's, no. You know, smooth the show. She was been Mrs. Good for her. Adam Royer yeah. in my mind for she's quite kind some of like time. The opposite of Heidi Montag. Like her life has improved thanks to MTV. Like, oh. I feel like she has become a more confident person, maybe. That's just the way she seems on TV at least. What what show was Heidi Montag on recently? Um she signed up for something. It's like getting more and more ridiculous. It's like fear factor or something like that. Were they on couples therapy? No. I thought they were going to be, but that was actually Juan Pablo and Nikki. Oh, bummer. Let's look All at right. the next couple. Next. Johnny and Avery. So this is, <sighs> this is big for you. Great photo choice, by the way. I know. I, You're welcome. I chuckled when You're I welcome. You're welcome. You heard me across the office. I, um, I love Avery. I'm so, just going to say it. I love Avery, and I love Johnny. I love, I, and for very different reasons. For the previous challenge, they had just broken up. Apparently, she'd broken, she had cheated on him. That's what I read. Yeah, but she moved to Massachusetts. For him. It's like, quote, unquote, Boston, but I think he lives like 40 miles outside of Boston or something. Where does Boston really end, though? It, it, it really ends at the border of the state. Like, I'm from western Massachusetts, and I'll be like, oh, I'm from Amherst. And everyone always says, like, like then like two years later, they're like, oh, that's Jacoby. He's from Boston. It's like, no, 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 two hours away. It's so, <laughs> I just feel like all of New England has adopted Boston it, as, yeah, its, it has. as its yeah. home. It's like, like a, when you meet somebody from England, and you and uh, I always ask this question. I'm like, oh, where in England? And this, it's like London or not London. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? It's like you're <laughs> totally. it's, like, it's like London or not London. Oh, Liverpool. Like, I have no idea where Liverpool is. I have no, I have no idea. I think it's a port city, I've been told. That's, oh. all, that's all I know. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> and good. the Beatles are from good. there, aren't they? Good. good. I have no idea. It's either London or not and London. And Liverpool Football Club wears red. That's all there I've got. There you go. There you go. They change their uniform colors all the time. Those guys. They do? Let's get back to Johnny okay. and Avery. I love Avery. I love her so much. So they're going to be feisty. They're going to fight, and I'm looking forward no, to it. No, I think they're, yes, I think they're going to fight. They're going to fight, and um, there's this thing about Avery that we learned during her season in Portland. That she likes to strip? She's No. You don't remember this. I don't think these things like stick in your mind like they do in, in mine. She is like a super nympho. Remember they were having sex oh, in the yeah. bathroom at work and they were like going to sex shop oh, yeah, and she was like she's teaching a, him new she's stuff. Freaky. She's freaky. Yeah. And she's super hot and she's freaky and she's a Hooters girl and she owns that she's a Hooters owns girl. It. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Like I love everything about Avery. I, I except for the way she spells her name. <laughs> that is not a typo. Know, it's A V E R E Y. It's almost like it's so, is this a chicken or egg thing? Is it like nature and nurture? Like is it because your name is misspelled you're going to grow up and be a weirdo that's on reality television? Or is it like the type of people that had their names misspelled grow up and, and you know what I mean? Yeah. Is it ch like Could chicken or egg? Really tough. I don't, I don't know. I think it's more of a she's living up to the misspelling. That's, why, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. what I'm going with here. Well, good for her. Well, um, I believe that, yeah, we have some more from her. Remember, oh my remember God. this? Yeah, yeah, she got into the crazy fight it's with Naya. One of the most violent, violent yeah, we scenes were, in we the history of the real world. We were upset about that. I'm still upset about it. It went too far. It went too far. She should have intervened. It was a little racial Hurricane, Hurricane Naya was, was attacking people with weapons. Remember, she had a hair dryer? The hair dryer, yeah. The hair dryer shaped like a weapon, not that effective as a weapon. No. Looks like well, a gun. Like beat someone over the head but with she it. She was, but it's like I think she grabbed it because it looks like a gun. Blow it out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, You're gonna yeah, be hot now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Although you know one thing you probably don't know about. Sometimes the end of your hair can get stuck in the back of the uh, hair dryer. And if you ever smelled the, the smell of hair burning, it's disgusting. Mm -hmm. And that's really unpleasant. So you think that's what she was going for when she grabbed the hair dryer? I don't know. Maybe subconsciously. But this was so violent. She's sucker punching Avery in the back of the head right now. Yeah. Avery goes after her, and to Avery's credit, she got some licks in. But here's another thing. The hurricane has landed. Yeah, she's on the show, she's too. She's on the show, too. So, you know, that's going to be weird. Like, just sitting on the table with the two of them, knowing their history, is going to be odd. Oh, yeah. There, Man, there, they there really got into it. I, I kind of... Holding her back? Port like, that was a weird thing. Portland was a terrible season, except this fight was memorable. Very memorable. I liked Portland. You did? No, you didn't. You... I like everything. I like the real world. What do you want me to do? I oh, love these people. I do, too. I'm looking forward to Chicago. Chicago is a good city for it. You know what I'm looking forward to? What? 
Boom. Oh shh. Boom. <laughs> Your favorites. My favorite, Ryan Knight and Jemmy Carroll. Yep. I've dropped pretty much everybody from these shows on social media. It's, for some reason, I just love Jemmy's Twitter. So Jemmy. I both am like jealous and happy. I don't know if you remember. Remember when I was obsessed with Ron from The Bachelor last year? Oh yeah, of course. They like hung out together in New Orleans. What? And there was like an Instagram of them like hanging out, and I was really jealous. I just feel like if you go to Bourbon Street at like 2:30 on a Tuesday, you're gonna see Jemmy like in the middle, like with Definitely some like drunk. some like two two yard long plastic thing, totally filled filled with like some blended she, purple mix. She might be like graduating towards being one of those women on Bourbon Street who comes up to you and like shoots a Jello shot into and your charges mouth. Charges you six dollars. Yeah, doesn't ask <laughs> yeah, yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, doesn't. Yeah, yeah. It's like where's my money? Yeah, yes. like, yeah, like that's like gonna be Jemmy soon because she's like maxing out all the other possibilities. And. And they I have like such a Jimmy, dysfunctional relationship. I know, but I like them together. You know what I mean? I like want them to work it out. Like, come on, I guys. I do too. It's just like they're they're both just kind of like unpolished. I want to say. Totally. You know what I mean? And don't forget Knight's performance last time he was on the challenge. Didn't he get so drunk he had to go? Oh, that was at the reunion. Remember yeah. That? Oh yeah. Yeah. He and Frank got into got into it. Yeah, and also like, remember how he came like a he became like a little like uh, like C T toe. Totally. You know what I mean, <laughs> like he was like a mini C T. He was totally. like he was like a little C T groupie. Like, oh, what are we gonna do next, C T? Do you want to go pull a prank on somebody? He doesn't fight, but he's such a like he's such a mouth on him. Yeah. That he like gets really he gets people upset. I like it. It's really good for TV. Also, she yells and he remains very calm, so it's great. Oh, yeah. Also, fun fact about Je about Jemmy. Terrified of ketchup, remember? Oh yeah, and there's a term for it and everything. I looked it up on the internet. I forgot what it is, but I'm ex she's just great. She's wonderful. She's the gift that keeps on giving. She is. And do you know what the thing is? It's like no one's gonna mistake Jemmy for uh, Skylar Diggins. You know what I mean? Like, That's true. Like she's not the most athletic in the world, but she always stays around until like the second to last episode. I think people must really like her. You know? It's, I think so. And also, they're probably not threatened by her, so like, well, I can beat her in the final or whatever. You know what? It's good to have those kinds of people around. I want to take a look. At some of Jenny's best work. I wonder what her day job is. Like, I, I feel like I, I'm a little upset that I haven't figured that out. But so this, maybe we'll find out. This is an episode from their season. Okay. Of the real world. Just a little reminder of like what she's up to in Love her Love it. Life. Great. Slams the door. Gets home. Okay. She slams the window in. Hello. I need to talk to Hi. Wants to talk to her roommate. This is great. Now Knight comes home. They were so slammered this season. This must have been St. Patrick's Day. Why are they both wearing green? Good point. Oh, oh, oh there we go. Now we're down. Oh, Jemmy's down. Completely falls on the ground. Yep, falls on the ground. Now Knight's here. Turn it up Whoa. a little bit, Joe. So now she unplugs the phone from the wall. I remember that back. came in later. Sure now she's just, taking now her shirt off. Shirt off. He's just watching. Oh my god. Oh, now she's naked on the floor of the living room. And he's Jenny, just watching. Nice. Twisted the twisted right. way that human beings should. So now Knight just puts a go. sheet on her like a dead body. <laughs> Literally Jimmy like a dead body picks her up. From oh no, now where's she going, okay Juliet? And being a good to bed. And then nope. all Wrong. Just, like, Not going switches. to bed. To his bed? Nope. Oh, to the shower. Passed out in the bottom of the shower. That's just she dangerous. She can drown like yeah, that. Yeah, that's yeah. dangerous. And she goes, leave me alone. She can legitimately just drown. Just leave me alone. Like when you hear you, you could drown in the, the puddle, this is how it happened. Yeah, like exactly. this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Stop exactly. Dying. I think it's real. Wow, that is maybe exactly I, how it happens. Maybe I'm not rooting for them to be together. I like it. I love it so much. I, I, I against against my wishes, I really like uh, Knight. You know, like I, I, I wish I didn't, but I just love him. I like Knight so much. Let's look at the next couple. Now, okay. this Juliet. This, I know this means a lot to you, okay? Because there are certain things about you that I just don't understand. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, like, there's a, like you don't like pools. Like, that doesn't no, even, like, it I just don't. doesn't, doesn't make sense to me. And this doesn't make sense to me as well. That I like Thomas. Your obsession with Thomas. It's just because he's cute, okay? So, I can't say no to a, a nice smile. I'm sorry. He, he's, I think he's an immature jerk, probably. I'm not looking to, like, date him. I just like to watch him on TV. He's okay, here's cute. the thing. Like, you know how when you go to Vevmo and they tell you about the cast, and in parentheses after the name, they tell you how they think they're on the show? Yeah. So I, I have a, a weird obsession with Avery, and I explained it. Yours is like, oh, he's cute. You know what I mean? Like, what about more. this guy do you find appealing? You want more? <laughs> First of all, I think you were overstating your interest in Avery to justify the fact that you just think That's she's not hot. not what we're discussing right now, okay? <laughs> First of all, I let's just get that out there. I find, Second of all, I find her intellectually stimulating. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you do. I do. Um, 
I really like Thomas's relation with his brother. I think the twin thing is cute. That was cute. <laughs> really, I like that. I was like, it's a twin thing. I don't know. Like, I just, I'm interested in twins. Like, I can never, obviously, can never understand it. I think that's cute. Um, I like that he was like, you know, he's like, yeah, I'm You're rich. Reaching. You think? I, <laughs> You're just I reaching. teach tennis. You're just pulling up the, the Tom file well, and to being be honest, like, Jacoby, what do I, I know about this guy? I gave you the honest answer. He's handsome. <laughs> okay. And you rejected it. But he was he was a jerk, and he was like, he was arrogant about he his wealth, really... which just doesn't sit on anybody well. No, I didn't like except that. Except for EJ. <laughs> That's, one, you know. one thing I really didn't like about him was when he was like, my family is like better than yours. That's really not That's cool. a ridiculous thing to say. But one thing, what I didn't like about him is he... Basically decided that he didn't want his ex Haley, this woman who's on this show, to be on the real world, and just kind of belittled her and like, this is an awful term to use, but like bullied her into leaving. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like kind of like set up a campaign with the other people to make her uncomfortable, and. And like, then he had the pretty her out. pretty bad girlfriend Jamie, who I just couldn't get with. I didn't. I couldn't get with her either. And I, I, I think they broke up. I show. think they broke up, by the way. By okay. When you say, I think they broke up, what you mean is, I check his social media every, I update on his social media every hour to make sure that they're broken up so that I can then find his address and go sit outside of his house like I do with Jenny and Brian. I think he lives in Texas. I've, okay, never, okay. I've never been. Uh, all right. um, I actually don't follow him, nor do I follow Jamie, but I was like, I, a lot of people I don't follow, I just check up on them once in a while. Oh. Like, oh, let's see what you've been up to. Let's just do a deep dive. Like, let's just take in the last two months of your social media. I like that. I don't need, like, up to the It feels updates. more intimate than just browsing across it once in a it while. It also feels like a better cross-section of what you've been up to. It's like I can see your trajectory the last two months. I like that. So last time I checked... What's his trajectory? When was the last time you checked? It's honestly been a while. I'm okay. disappointed. I should have done it before this. I'm really sorry. I effed up. Anyway, last time I checked, he'd broken up with Jamie. She, they had a fight because she was, like, doing something with her ex-boyfriend. It was obviously a volatile relationship. They mm -hmm. fought a lot on the show. Mm -hmm. So he's available. I wonder, you know, I, don't, I think him and Haley are still over. But, you know, he's an eligible bachelor on this show. I hope, I hope he finds some love. Oh, well, let's take a look at who he might be finding love with. <laughs> Boom. Oh, my God. Zach and John A. Zach and John A coming together on uh, Battle of the Seasons was one of the crazier things I've ever seen. Like, she was, like, so in love with him so quickly. Quickly. And he was okay with it, too. Like, a lot of guys and women, like, that quick would be freaked out. Zach is more than meets the eye with Zach. You know I, what I mean? We kind of like Zach now. I kind of like Zach now. Like, I hated Zach on his season. It was San Diego, yeah, too. Yeah, he was a bigot. Yeah, like, I really didn't like him. He, he just seemed so closed-minded and, and not ready for life. And then you fast-forward to now, and, like, you know, he's, he's like, he, like, cross-dresses, like, all the time. And he's just, he like... He was funny. Really enjoys himself. You know what I mean? He kissed Frank, I believe, last season, just for, like, for oh, giggles. My, remember they, they kind of, like, were teaming up. They were, like, a drunk yeah, duo together. Yeah, like, I loved that. And then, and then I also, like... I think that there's, like, there's something, I don't want to use the word flawed. I'm using it. There's something flawed about both of these people. Sure. But I like them together. I feel like, like, they're, like, two wrongs do make a right in this case. I don't think that these, I mean, maybe, like, their presence in general make a right, but I don't think they're right for each other. Rumor has it, a.k.a. Frank told, told me. me. Okay, okay. <laughs> Good. Sources say that their breakup was very raw. Oh. And she was very upset after, and he kind of just didn't care. So I don't, I don't think it's a good idea for them to be like working together. I hope they don't get back together. But you know, she she kind of pulled it together in the last episode. She looked great, if you recall. She was spacey. She's been on like every season. They, yeah. I think Battle of the Seasons was like three or four seasons ago at this point. Yeah. And um, I think she's pulled it together since. But they're probably not good for each other. Probably not. But they're both good for us. Like I'm uh, happy to have them both on on the show. I always. Although, what I always like, you're always gonna get this. That one duel where it's like Johnny Riley against Zach. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I always like that mismatch matchup. It's like, all right, we're gonna wrestle to the death. And it's like, all right, are you ready, Johnny Riley? And here's Zach. He kind of had a LeBron cramp game in the finale of the Oh, that's one. right. He did have a LeBron he, cramp game. He freaked out. Well, on it was right the around the LeBron yeah, cramp it was game around too. The same time. I think him and LeBron are kindred spirits. They might be. Yeah. Um, I think Zach might be from Ohio. Do so. you know he's from Michigan? Oh, he is. He would be very upset if you said that. Sorry. I believe he's from Michigan. I okay. Don't know. You don't know for sure. But I, did, I may or may not have watched a bunch of his wide receiver highlights. How was he? He was great, and a gentleman who Why I believe writes for the Boston Herald or the Boston Globe. Shout out to him. I can't say his last name right. It's like Kaid or Kid. He writes about the Patriots, and he tweeted me, and he was like, showed me Zach's um, NFL Combine results were like freakishly athletic. So why is he not in the in the NFL? 
Um, newsflash, it's very difficult to be a professional athlete at the highest level. Like, but he's doing it. It's very he's difficult. on the challenge. Great point. I'm so wrong right now. You are a professional athlete. You get paid, and it's athletic, and it's there's your no question job. that this is the highest level. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm no disrespect to any of these great athletes that are on this show, or to you, or to any listeners. I take it back. You could not have picked a more, like, um, statuesque picture of Zach, too. Like, Look, this is a pop the, pop the Trunk production. He looks like an Adonis, you know? Yeah. I'm into it. And, you know, it's great. Oh, man. This is another power couple. This now, Naya Moore. Hurricane Naya. Side piece of Aaron Aflalo mm. and Leroy Garrett. I love everything about America's this couple. America's most popular trash man. I love everything about this couple. Now, the history to them is that they used to hook up in the bathroom from time to time. Yeah, in the previous season. What was that again? What? Um, that was free agents. Free agents. Yeah. yeah, so they would hook up in the bathroom from time to time, but like the cameras never truly caught them, and then in, the, in one of those after shows, she they admitted, admitted it. it. Yeah. yeah. But like... She she's nuts. Is looking for a problem. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's she's you looking know, for a fight. When you're in a bar and you get that feeling, like some there's like a couple pushing matches, and you just kind of get this vibe, like someone, like this is gonna, like a bottle's gonna get broken at some point, and it's not gonna be good. Like I feel like she is, she personifies that feeling. Absolutely, she's trouble. She's trouble. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. In the words mm-hmm. of Taylor Swift. Leroy, on the other hand, the opposite of trouble. Here for a good time, easy to get along with. Such a chill dude. He's a great athlete. Here's into, what's going to happen. Into yoga. They're going to hook up early. The, yes. Like kind of a bunch. And they're going to have a fight. And then they're going to get into fights, and then it's going gonna, it's gonna to really hurt their chemistry. And Leroy's not going to care enough about the competition or anything because Leroy does, like, doesn't have a care gene. Right. And, and, and then they're going to end up um, leaving. Right. And she, I, I could see her getting into a fight with a girl, too. We, we've seen her do it before. Yeah, I mean, she tried to murder Avery. You, one thing I just wanted to mention, by the way, is this is the first time I think we're going to get John A. no Jasmine. It's a good point. I think Jasmine and Leroy hooked up, didn't they? I'm not sure. I think they might have. I'm not sure. I'm going to miss Jasmine. I love Do her. you think Jasmine Avery has. took some, like, MMA classes before she went on the challenge? Like, it's a consideration. Absolutely. You're like, I'm going to have to get in a fight with this, this woman who tried to murder me. I can't believe see her hanging out at a boxing gym. Like, she, like, saw the saw a fighter with Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Was, Like, yeah, that's a good idea. Like, goes, like, finds a gym to hang out at or something. Yeah, did you see Justin Bieber working out with Floyd Mayweather? Oh, yeah, I did. I know you did. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man, Bieber. He just, just makes so many Let's just not choices. forget, Nia not only attacked Avery and tried to murder her, but she also tried to murder Johnny Riley. It's like, just not funny. Like, this is not, like, she was violent. Like, not, not an okay way. She probably should have been kicked off the show. Oh, she probably, there's, I don't, I think, I'm not sure it's legal to do what she did. I'm I don't sure think not. so. Do you remember this, though? I kind of love Johnny Riley. Do you remember this? When she was making fun of him for He just being, came over and took his pants off? What's the opposite of well-endowed? <laughs> not well-endowed? <laughs> and so he's like, cool, I'm just going to have this argument nude. So yeah. he took all of his clothes off and sat across from her on the couch. It was just like, we're doing this nude. I think he kept his shirt on, which kind of made it more awkward. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Did it, like, shirt, socks, no pants, and underwear is the best outfit so a man can wear. Awkward. You know what I mean? Like, like yeah. I'm going to get a t-shirt long enough so it's not illegal and just, like, use that, <laughs> like, just go to a meeting like that. Like, no shoes, just, like, brown socks, long white shirt, no underwear, no pants. He really did it right because, like, I think it was, like, a t-shirt that cut it was off short. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, there's, yeah, like, was, some like, dangling going awkward. on. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Not much dangling going on, apparently, according to Naya. Well, he was not embarrassed. I think, and he hooked up with a few women on the on the rival, so, you know, he probably, yeah, he was, he's got it going on. He does have it going on. Now, this... Okay, Teresa and Wes. This is another Jacoby. Who's Wes's ex? Johanna. Johanna. Like, it, there isn't another one. By the way, every time, once in a while, Johanna will pop up in a commercial, like she was in the Clarity yeah! commercial. And it's like, Johanna, I see you. What do you think? You're tricking us <laughs> yeah, right now? I know you're Johanna. <laughs> yeah. Which, uh, Johanna and Wes. That was a real love story. I was rooting for them. It really was. It went bad, though. I forget exactly what season well, it was. Well, they were on, uh, it was like some kind of, it was like a, it was a, I don't remember what it was, but he yelled at her at the, in the final challenge. He like berated her in front yeah. of everyone, and it was not cool. Yeah. And then she still stayed with him, and everyone's like, what are you doing with this jerk? Yeah. And they were, like, a really dysfunctional couple. I, I love Wes. I, I know I shouldn't, again, but I just love him. Why shouldn't you? I'm so happy he's back on the show. Remember, he won, so then he took an episode, a season off. Why wouldn't you love Wes? He's, he's got 30 companies in a monster truck. He's a total jerk. <laughs> oh, my God, I forgot about the monster truck. What a great bite. Yeah, someone spotted him in, like, the, in the, the front row of a, a Chiefs game. Yeah, I saw that yeah, 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 as well. Yeah, Thank like, you to whoever tweeted at us. Is Wes Bergman the most famous person to come out of Kansas City? Um, ooh, you've really put me on the spot. I'm sure oh, no, no, he's Paul, not. Paul Rudd. 
I'm sure he's did not. Did you see that video this week of Paul Rudd inviting everyone over to his mom's house because the Royals won? No, I did not. Oh, it was very, it was very sweet and charming. Paul Rudd's very sweet and charming. He was at the Royals game. He was excited. They had, they're going to the World Series, and he invited everyone over on, on the local news. So, I think Kansas City might be like a hotbed for Bunn and Murray. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we've got Jenny and Brian. We've got Wes, yes. and there's others that I just can't think of off the top of my head. Well, it's like a regional city, so it makes sense they would do a casting call there to like kind of like capture a swath of. America, basically. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, it, it makes sense. Plus, it's, you know, both there's Kansas City, Missouri, and Kansas City, Kansas. So they can kind of kill two states with one casting call. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> do you remember this hookup? Yes, I do. Because Teresa, in the same season she hooked up with Wes, hooked up with Kenny. And that was kind of what fueled the rivals idea, was the Wes versus Kenny. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and then following season, they were partners. And she actually ended up choosing Wes. Like, she ha she that was the one she went back to, I think. Mm -hmm. Which, I w Mr. Beautiful is beautiful. Like, I, I would choose Kenny over Wes. I love Mr. Beautiful. I miss him dearly. I miss Mr. Beautiful. He was such a great television character. He really was. Now we have one more. Now he's really into CrossFit. Sarah Rice and Jordan Wisely. I didn't realize that Jordan's been on enough seasons to have, like, these exes. Like, he has, a, he has Laurel, too. Yeah, where's Laurel? Like, maybe after you win, there's no upside in coming back. Uh, I know Johnny does it. They all come back because they get paid. This is a good gig. I think she said she was done with it. Everyone says they're done with it, though. She, I was supposed to interview Laurel. It didn't work out. I really regret it. Our schedule is messed up next time. I still I follow her on social media. How are her, how are her YouTube videos? Uh, not that plentiful lately, but there's a lot of her and Cara Maria. Like, they're, like, really friends. They're really good friends. They're, like, really, yeah. really good friends. Cara Maria still with Abram, do you know? I don't believe so. Oh, I don't know. Bummer. But something tells me I that just, you will know in about 10 minutes after this podcast. Say, like, I really, like, TV breakups are harder for me than, like, actual breakups. Like, people I really know or, like, my own. Like, when these couples break up, I'm like, damn, I really thought they had a chance. I just don't think we'll ever get through a single podcast where you don't say something absolutely ridiculous. Because I know <laughs> you and, like, you're not joking. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, you're not kidding about this. Like, 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 I just like knowing that Abram like, and Carmen yeah, are dating. Yeah. And now they're not. Yeah, and then you're just like, you know what? It's harder than like when my friends break up. And what do you say after that? Or my own. Or my own. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like you took Justin and Heather breaking up like worse than like you and your boyfriend. It's just weird. And you don't like pools, and I don't understand it. I don't know. I just I like the I like the order that these couples bring. So Sarah and Jordan, I don't even, I barely remember this. Is I this, remember it. Is this when she got she had to go because her partner left or something? Or is it a different like that. season? I don't know. But like I think the that's thing what I know about these two is like they try so hard at this show. They both you know do. like Leroy doesn't try. He shows yeah. up like look if you put if you put me in a challenge like, I'm gonna try, I mean, like, but he doesn't like live and die for the challenge. I feel like these two do. Yeah. Also, she just like she falls hard. Remember when she fell for Kenny? And then Kenny just like treated her like a piece of trash for an entire totally. season. Totally. Oh God, poor Sarah. You love Kenny. I love you Kenny. You really want Kenny to treat you like a piece of trash, don't you? I love Kenny yes. so much. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Beautiful is beautiful. Yeah, I understand. And he's funny. So when you go to um, these websites, you learn things about the show. And one thing that we learned is they're going to involve the Are You The One couples. Four people, two couples. Yep. So tell me a little bit about Are You The One. So we tried to watch it last season, and mm -hmm. we both were like, eh, there's too many iPads going on here. We're just not that into this. Mm -hmm. And so we both kind of gave it up. But a lot of people, and excuse me, but like a lot of people tweeted at us, it's a really good show. We should give it a shot. So do you, should I watch it in preparation for the challenge? I may or may not have watched more than I let on. Okay. <laughs> so you were lying to me? No, I, I went back and went like to Are You The One On Demand and like okay. watched the last few shows because it was pretty good at the end. How does it end? Um, they, it's like they have to go 10 for 10 perfect couples, oh. and they did, and they split like a million dollars. Really, they did? They split a million dollars between like 100 people. It was like ridiculous. Like after taxes, they get like a sandwich. Like $5, yeah. yeah. But so if, Give card to Subway. Yeah, exactly. But I also watched the premiere episode of this season last night. Was it um, on this, like last night? When was it no, on? No, it was on demand. It was, I believe it was oh. October 6th, because you know, you can see the date when it aired. Yes. So I had yeah. this information. Okay. So, um... I was intrigued. So I went, they, have now they streamlined it, to, it all? They made it better? No. You know, <laughs> no. Okay, same show. But it's just new people. They did this one thing where they had these like 10 men and 10 women. 
And they're like, you guys are your perfect match. And they're all kind of like lined up looking at each other. And it's like, all right, this is your perfect match. And then they're like, oh, wait, one more thing. We're also just going to add a random hot chick. What? So then like the hottest chick is kind of like musical chairs. There's like one empty spot. Oh, so it's like Bachelor or yeah, Bachelor so Paradise. Yeah, so they kind of like put her in the mix. And she's like, like, oh, like, I don't have a perfect match here. But, you know, if you want to make out in the corner. So everyone knows that she's not the perfect match. She's I, don't, just I, I wasn't paying that much attention. It was late. But like, yeah. But it, I just thought it was a little bit of a plot twist. But I guess okay. basically what I'm saying is I recommend you watch this show. I'm going to. And I think I'm going to watch this season until it gets really boring. So but tell let's us get about to know the, these people. Yeah. We've got Adam and Brittany, and since we don't really know them, let's just watch a little clip. Okay. I might have previewed this, and I like it a lot. Okay. That's great. It's, it's tough because you're in a relationship with someone. I, I did like Brittany in the beginning. That's And Adam. then it's like you break up with somebody, and then okay. yeah, you the see them every single day. So then sometimes they can We were never in a relationship, though. I would say that Adam has something that I would like to call emotionless bipolar psychotic syndrome. Wow! Totally different with me alone than he would in front of everybody else. And I feel like the camera definitely favored his side. You guys don't see us. What's your side? Of- My side was the right side. Hold on, so what's obviously- Brittany? I like wow, this she- emotionless bipolar psychotic syndrome. She's smart. I like her. She's got a lot of like thoughts here. I, well, she 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 are, she definitely like workshopped that before she showed up at the reunion. Yeah, but also they only shot his good side. Are less interesting. I never thought about these shows. Do you think like Johnny thinks about that? Oh my God, Juliet, you just embarrassed yourself. <laughs> she said the edit only showed his good side, like the edit, like the actual oh. storytelling, like not the cameraman. <laughs> Yeah. I thought she meant like, like the, the lighting. Like, yeah, that's not that wasn't her beef with him. Oh. Yeah, yeah. She, <laughs> but I like this idea that like she, basically she's saying she's like you're one of those dudes that like says whatever behind closed doors and then once everybody gets around and you're like one of the boys you act like you don't care. Right. And like that emotionless bipolar psychotic syndrome it's, it's running rampant. Do you know what I mean? Real, is that the or like official title? No, she made it up. Oh, cool. She sounded smart. She's, I like her. She it, just tricked me. I was like, wow, I really like this girl. One thing that's very important to me is like intonation. Like not just what you say. It's kind of like how, how you, you deliver it. it. Like how much confidence you say it with or what you're wearing, your little accent and your hand gestures and stuff. And I kind of like her energy of what's happening from her. I like her hair. I do not. Pretty hair color. No. Super okay. freak looking and weird. All right. So that's Brittany and Adam. Okay. That's I can, Brittany and Adam. I can now, with this them. is John and Simone. Now, first of all, this dude, John, it goes by JJ, and he's like, it's almost like he's like playing a character, but it's kind of him at the same time. Interesting. John is, t- if, I, if, if I had a, a John in my life, what would you call them? Like, it's such a boring name. Dad. That's what, that's what I go with. <laughs> that's what I go I know, it's a weird nickname, but it's, a, yeah, I just go, I'd go Dad. I, I think Jack. I would want to go with Jack. Ja- John's or Jack's? No, yeah. Jack is a different name. No, John F. Kennedy was called Jack Kennedy. You just blew my mind. Yeah. So Jack is a nickname for John? It's not its own separate name? I don't believe this for a second. It's true, Jacoby. That's not true. Yes, it is true. John sometimes go by Jack. No way. Yeah, Jack Kennedy. You can't just switch around 75% of the letters (laughs) like that and then call it like a nickname. It's like, oh, my, like David. Like my nickname is Dave. It's like, oh, you shortened it. But like, you can't just change all like the syllable, the (laughs) entirely different syllable. So. Whatever, I'm out on you. Let's, <laughs> let's watch JJ and Simone. Okay. This, this JJ guy, he's something. Let, let, okay. let's just, I'm going to tell you what's happening. So he kind of used to hook up with Simone. To take the back That's her. And they started kind of like so about John and I crushing someone on someone else. Like, okay. So no, 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 they're in a no, no, fight. So he takes out John money and starts, starts throwing it at her. Whoa. In the kitchen. Don't stop it. <laughs> Why did he do it? Yeah, he's wearing sunglasses in the kitchen and throwing money at her. And they're not like in a nightclub. They're in their own kitchen. They're in their own Dude. kitchen. Like, where do you get that much money? Do you have to pick it up later? Did he borrow Nick Stauskas' stacks of cash? Exactly what happened. <laughs> so now they're doing this like hold me back, I'm arguing thing. To be fair, she is wearing a club dress, so maybe he thought they were in the club. <laughs> they've been doing that like a club at the house oh thing because they can't yeah. get anywhere. So now they're getting in this big argument. So if you're just listening to this in your car, it's, it's, it's getting a little questionable. He's male, female. He's pushing her. He's, he's, oh, he's putting his hands on her. Not, not in a, not in the colloquial way. So now they're hugging. Now he's face grabbing. No, now he's going forehead to forehead. They're doing like a weird shake thing. Oh, now he's petting her like a dog. And now they're now they're now they're now, <laughs> now they're, they're, touching, yeah, head now they're touching heads. It's just, it's just weird. Why it's a roller coaster. Yeah. It, what's that guy wearing? It's a, it's a roller coaster. So why they're volatile. Just, well, I they're decided volatile. to show this clip because I do know a little bit about these people, and like John is an interesting, interesting character. At first, he comes off like 
oh, you're sort of like acting, you're pretending to be this person. And then after like episode two, episode three, and episode four, you're like, oh, you just are like a little bizarre. That's who you are. You're weird. Interesting. Also, all these people, their weirdness is amplified by the amount of drinking they're doing. So Yeah, which isn't going to stop on the challenge. No, it'll continue to happen. Interesting. They seem like solid, solid additions. How do you feel about the inclusion of the Are You The One cast? I was against it at first. I was like, oh, Are, are You The One? It's a stupid show. But A, I've heard it's not that bad. And mm -hmm. B, more importantly, how is this any different than a fresh meat season? You know? Like, you got to inject new blood. Yeah. So it makes sense for MTV to do it this way, supporting one show with the other. And I, I trust the people at Buna Murray. Explosion was so well done that I just trust them. I'm going to go with it. How do you feel? I like it, too. You know, at first I was against it because I'm a traditionalist. Me but too. change is good. You know what I mean? And, like, with a reality show, is we, look, we're both, like, not that into Survivor this season. Yeah. It's because it's just not fresh enough. Right. It's they're not giving me anything new or exciting that I'm looking forward to. And the challenge is doing that. You can't get stale. you got to keep moving. I agree. Also, look, we want the challenge to continue to exist, right? Mm -hmm. So we need to, there needs to be ways to keep it alive, keep it fun, keep people moving through. Johnny yeah. Bananas, like, he's aging out soon. I'm sorry. What? Don't tell him. <laughs> what? But, like, his time is going to end sooner rather than later. Don't ever say that about Bananas. So, I, I, this is good. I, this was a good introduction. I feel like you, you made me excited, too. I'm excited about it, too. So this show will probably come on, like, I don't know, next September? Like, when is this thing going to so air? This is, my, this is my thought. I think that we probably will get the real world first. That's, uh, that's up next. Yep. So that's probably a uh, December to, or probably starts January, let's be honest. We're already in November. Yeah. That's probably January to March. I'm going to go with the challenge probably coming April or May. Okay. You know it's not November, right? I just want to make that clear. It's in two, November's in two weeks. Okay, that's half a month. All right. So next up, Juliet, what do we got? Taste test time. All right. So I'm really excited about this taste test. I want a little loco at the grocery store buying the salsas. I bought five. But I just felt like we really needed a, a good swath because, like, there's so much, so many options in the salsa world. This is just the most controversial segment in media right now. In, in all of media. Yep. <laughs> my wife hates it. My mom hates it. But we're doing it anyway. Um, shout out to everyone who says they still like it. Like, we really appreciate that feedback. Yep. Take so, your chip bowl. I've got my chip bowl. You've got yours. Where do you want to start? So it sort of seems to be going from like a tradition let's start with this the the more traditional salsas okay all right so right here we have a front front frontera grill rick bayless he won the original top chef masters he's a what this has a re reality tv tie yes it's one of the reasons i got it frontera grill is um rick bayless's place it's a chain in the chicago area and they also have grocery it's a grocery store line which I buy frequently. He's making that money. Once you start ending up in grocery stores, you're making that money. Seriously. And, you know, he's like licensing. We should everything. really have some of Mark Schlaer's stinking good chili here. What's that? Mark Schlaer has his own uh, chili line. Like Who is salsa he? Line. Mar what? Who's Mark Schlaer? Mark Schlereth? Who's that? Colleague of ours? Uh, NFL analyst? Oh, sorry. I'm I know, you're an NBA girl. <laughs> I'm a basketball girl. I know, I know. Okay, here uh, we go. What is this? This is roasted habanero. habanero. It's supposed to be uh, medium. You, I like, no, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. Yeah. I got I like that hot. for you. Tastes like salsa. Not that hot. Tastes like salsa. It's good though. It's standard. Salsa. I like it. But so, I feel like you're pretty particular about salsa. I am, but like that tastes like if you put that, if I asked for salsa and you gave me that, I'd be like, oh, salsa. It's not, it doesn't really like do much for me. Next. So Next. I, just want, I just want to say there were some that were like very, art, very like arts and craftsy labels that I shied away from. I felt like I was being. <laughs> I was being sucked in by the packaging. Instead, I was trying to focus on flavors to give us a real, a real swath here. So you really wanted to give us a huge swath of different flavors. So you got one pepper salsa, and this is a pepper salsa. <laughs> one's a habanero pepper, and one's a desert pepper. With really different flavoring, Jacoby. That's really rare. How do you know that? Because it says on it, two olive roasted garlic salsa. All right. Let's garlic. Give, let's give it a shot. <laughs> wow. A lot of con pretty contentious between us today. Yeah. Spicy. We're excited about the challenge. You can't control it. First of all, very different taste than the first one. Yeah, disgusting. Too garlicky. I, like, I don't want garlic and salsa. It tastes too much like a red sauce. That should be on pasta, not salsa. Yeah, that is not a good salsa. I'm sorry, desert pepper people. Yeah. Frontier, there's a reason why this guy won Top Chef Masters. Yeah. Okay, so, next we have, should we save this one for last? This is disgusting. I'm not eating that thing. <laughs> I'll try it. 
It looks. This is this disgusting. One's called Susan's Gourmet Pineapple Salsa. I was gonna get Susan. Peach, get a new job. I was gonna get peach mango, but that's so regular and so this quotidian. This is disgusting looking. It, if you're listening to this, like it, it looks like it looks um, like canned fruit. Yeah, like one of those dull things yeah. that you eat when you're in like second grade. This is just so gross. And I didn't tell you this, but I put my fingers on it to get out of the jar. <laughs> it's not good. Ugh. It's like pineapples in water. Ugh! No! No! Spicy pineapples in water. If you go down south, they have pickled eggs next to the register at gas stations. This, this is what I imagine the pickled egg juice tastes like. It's really gross. I don't recommend that. Do you need some water? That is awful. That is absolutely awful. Wow. Oh that God. was really bad. I'm really sorry. Yeah, Guys, it doesn't, don't... It doesn't taste like kimchi. It tastes like... The garbage bag that the kimchi was thrown out in. It's just gross. It's like pineapples in old water with like some spiciness. It's really gross. Susan, I'm out on your salsa. Not good. Bad idea, Susan. So now we have traditional salsa verde. So I like a hot, a hot salsa, right? I like a mild. Now they always say they say like, do we like red or green sauce? And I say which one is hotter? And they say green sauce. But for some reason, green's the, never hotter. The color throws me off too. I don't think like, it's hotter. Usually greens are fairly mild. They say the green is hotter, man. Is it because of jalapenos or something? I don't know. Well, this is, I think, a mild one, and I just got it because I like this kind of salsa. So you just so. wanted to take home the jar? Is that what happened? <laughs> I, well, you know what it is? I was like, these are all really high end. This one is, or like, more expensive. They're like $5 since they have two fifty. I was like, I want to get a really cheap one to see how it tastes. That's disgusting. That's really bad. That's awful. <laughs> well, oh my God. You got that one to take home. I know you did. No, you thought that was going to be good. Let me. Just, I just want to describe it better. I'm going to have another taste of this disgusting salsa. It gets so like metal. It has like it a better. weird metal aftertaste. Mm. It tastes like high school football locker room. It's really gross. That's what it tastes like. This is, I really. It tastes like, no, like a high school football locker room in like late, late November. That's disgusting. That's that an interesting awful. description. Let's go to the next one. Now, this is an interesting salsa from the Arriba brand. Arriba. This is salsa avocado fire roasted tomatillo. So, this is not guacamole. Not guacamole. It looks guacamole ish. I'm excited about it. God, I think there's only one good salsa here. <laughs> the first one? Yeah. Rick Bayless killed it. Oh, hell no. What the hell are you trying to do to me? <laughs> it's really bad. What the hell are you. This has been that's a the most, mess. That's the most disgusting one. That tastes like uh, on my grill at my house. There's a, there's a pan underneath the grill where all like the gross stuff drips down to, and it looks like I just if it, it tastes like I just licked that thing. It doesn't taste like salsa. It doesn't taste like avocado. It just tastes like green, the color that it is. Do you like that burnt flavor, like a, like a little bit of like burnt toast or like the the, yeah, crisp, the crispy burnt part of a chicken? You love that, yeah. right? But you know how you can get like too burnt. Yes, of course. That's what it tastes like. It's, it tastes like it's overburnt. I'm going back to the Rick Bayless stuff just to like cleanse my palate here. No, you're not. You're just hungry. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> That's what you're doing. You're just uh, cleanse my palate. Salsa doesn't cleanse the palate. There's a bottle of water right here. I don't right want here. to end on a bad note, Jacoby. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know, there's so many haters of this segment that we need to do our best to keep it alive. Yeah. So I'm going to There's positive. so many haters of this segment, so what we should do is extend it and have more chewing sounds. <laughs> Extraneous chewing sounds is what's going to make this better. I think that's what's good. Well, I enjoyed that bite. I liked how you muffled the, the chewing sound on that one, too. So, we're going to finish up with some news. We got to get out of here, man. Seriously, we're running long. All right. Yeah. First of all, thank you to Kaylin Mangum for sending this to us. So, we really Always. appreciate your She's help. Always. the greatest. So, let's, let's breeze through these super fast news round. There's a new reality TV show coming out that's set in Las, <laughs> Las Vegas, Coroner's Office. Doi. Great idea. Why hasn't this happened before? <laughs> Duh. Las Vegas is so depressing. Every, every reality show should be set there. I like the idea. It's just a bunch of people trying to figure out how like 25-year-old dudes with bad tattoos died. That's what it is. <laughs> That's exactly what it's going to be. Or like, I don't know. I don't want to suggest the other thing I was thinking of. Okay, don't. <laughs> then there's also going to be a Lego reality show. Uh, I don't even, it just can be, as Caitlin said, can be nothing but impossibly boring. I'm, I'm out. Let's just move on to the next thing. No interest in legging. And leggings. Legos. I like leggings. Though. Leggings reality show. Now you're on to something. <laughs> I do like leggings. <laughs> leggings reality show. Very comfortable. Uh, according to the internet, Sonia Morgan from Real Housewives of New York attacked an exclusive cabaret show at Cafe Carlisle for a performance 
by actress Molly Ringwald. At $600 per ticket, one might expect class or not. Sonia reportedly showed up wasted, violated dress code, behaved sloppily, reported other attendees. So she's out of control. I have a lot of, there's so many like nouns and there's so much stuff about that I want to do follow-up questions on. We don't have an hour for this. So, so here are my like top things. Molly Ringwald's doing cabaret right now. Great it question. It costs $600. Great question. How the hell do you violate dress code? On a cabaret. Was like, she wearing what? too many clothes? Yeah, yeah. Like, what's this was dress she code a violation? <laughs> like, she was wearing a turtleneck this? and leggings. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Didn't like, well. I'm filming the leggings reality show right now. John Goslin ran out of money. Remember him from John and Kate Plus 8? Mm-hmm. And he just got evicted. Oh. Without a job and without a girlfriend. Oh, I didn't know that this was this was the least shocking news item of the week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he probably still has all that Ed Hardy clothing, so that's all yeah, that matters. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, the Bachelor is filming, and apparently they were doing some filming in Santa Fe. Basically, Santa Fe has to pay the Bachelor fifty grand to be the host of some awkward Bachelor musical on a one-on-one -on -one date. The worst thing about this is there's going to be a musical one-on-one -on -one date. I'm not interested in that. There, there always is, but it's, it, I do like the way that the Bachelor has said instead of being like. May we please come to your city or establishment and film our television show and pay you some money? Pay they, us. They're like, oh, how much are you going to pay us to come to your establishment? Does Santa Fe even need that? Like, I thought that was like a vacation destination. Like, presumably, like, they're doing fine. I always imagined that, like, a nice, like, southwest Arizona, New Mexico vacation would really, really, I would take to that really well. Okay. Canyons and stuff. I went down there with my mom when I was a kid, but I think it'd be fun. Like me and my wife there's, yeah, driving around, hike. There's some good hiking. staying in um, uh, resorts. Yeah, in golf. those sort of resorts, and they have like mud baths and things. You know, it's a good time of year to go. It's Thanksgiving. It's off season for them because like no one goes to Arizona for Thanksgiving, mm. so you can get a really good deal at a really, a really nice resort. Well, Thanksgiving's right around the corner, according to you. It is, Jacoby. It's like in five <laughs> it's, it's, weeks. We're not in November. It's October. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to like rush you here, but it's October 17th. Is there any more news? Last thing. Hulk Hogan's son, Nick Hogan, who you might recall from Hogan Knows Best. Might recall, who's a huge part of my coming of age. Uh, he's the first male victim of the fappening. <laughs> I think we're going to end on that. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe to The Right Reasons on iTunes, and we'll be back next week, hopefully with not a disgusting taste test. That was an awful taste test. I really screwed up. Mm. You see... Every podcast we put on YouTube comes with this fancy graphic listing all the topics that your favorite Grantland podcasters are talking about. If you click the topics, you can skip around and choose your own podcast adventure. Subscribe to the Grantland Podcast channel to blaze your own trail on this sonic journey.